Good day everyone, we are the group 1 and we will be presenting the chapter 1, Building Identify the Construction of the Self. First, here is a short story of a family lived in a suburb just outside the Manila. One day, when the only child was 7 years old, her parents sat down and told her that due to financial concerns, which was beyond her understanding, they had to move somewhere and her mom needs to go abroad for work. So they headed to Manila to live with her grandparents. So yung only child, she often wonders how different or gaano daw kakaiba yung buhay niya if nagstay na lang sila sa suburban instead of sa city. Would she have fondness for farm activities instead of a shadow entertainment? Would she have grown up with country music instead of a pop rock? Would she have different preference for style? Would her goals be different? Or in short, would she be a different person? So yes, she would be a different person. Let's try to imagine what her life would be like if she had grown grown up under different circumstances. So try natin imagine kung gaano kakaiba yung buhay ng only child na yun if nabuo siya sa iba't ibang circumstances. What if yung family niya is naging Muslim instead of a Christian? What if she had an older brother instead of a younger sister? What if she had lived on farm instead of a big city? What if pinanganak siya sa 70s instead of a instead dito sa 20s? So yung lahat ng aspect na yon or factors na yon is makakaapekto sa isang tao or bubuo sa isang tao ngayon. So yung iba't ibang historical events circumstances, situations, family, friends, and other um, situations in life, lahat na yun is makaka-apekto kung sino tayo ngayon. Kung saan tayo pinanganak, saan tayo pinalaki, sino nagpalaki sa atin, sino naging kaibigan natin, or yung environment kung saan tayo lumaki is makaka-apekto ngayon kung sino tayo ngayon. The self is perhaps the most complex you need to study. Becoming the person one cannot be separated from the people's historical events and social circumstances that surround her. So ayun nga, yung experiences, situations, environments, is lahat na yon is makakapagpabago ng ating taste, preferences, hobbies, morals, values, ambitions, and aspirations. So kung ano yung bumuo sa atin nung bata tayo, or kung ano yung mga naranasan natin, pinag-aralan natin, natutunan natin, so lahat na yon ay bubuo sa self-concept ng isang tao. Philosophy of man is being or self and its ultimate reason for being. Philo comes from the Greek word meaning love of and the Latin word sophia meaning wisdom. Philosophy then means love of wisdom and the search for truth. It can be said the philosophers were sophists or wandering scholars. The human nature of man is made up of many components that unify and harmonize the self. Physical, intellectual, moral, social, political, religious, aesthetics, sensual, sexual, and economics. Yun yung origin ng salitang philosophy, love of wisdom, at search for truth. Kaya sinasabing ang mga philosophers ay mga wandering scholars or mga scholar na naglalakbay para mahanap ang truth of truth and wisdom. At ayon sa kanila, ang man ay man of creation. Yun, yung man kaya tinawag na crown of creation kasi sa lahat ng nilikha ay eh man lang ang kahawig o kawangis ng Diyos. Man, the crown of creation. Kung titingnan natin yung nasa diagram, makikita dito ang iba't ibang relasyon ng tao sa iba't ibang aspeto tulad ng man and religion, man and spiritual at iba pa. Man and his religion. Ito yung relationship niya sa God. Man and morality. Dito pumapasok yung ethics ng tao, yung kabutihang loob at ang mga ginagawa niya out of good moral. Man and social. Sabi nga diba, walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. So by nature, ang tao daw ay nangangailangan ng relationship sa kapwa tao. Man and politics. Dito pumapasok yung activities ng tao towards the state 
we know how to reason about poli our political ideas at nakaka-influence din tayo ng iba towards their political mind. Man and economics. Dahil lang tao ay may karapatang mabuhay, may karapatan din tayo to satisfy our needs para sa su survival natin, which is governed by econ economics. Socrates. Socrates was one of the mankind's greatest teacher in Athena in 469 BC. He introduced the Socratic method or dialect style of teaching. Socratic method consists of two processes. First, ironic process. And second, meiotic process. Plato, the ideal perfect man according to the theory of idealism. Plato expound his view that man in his present earthly existence is just an imperfect copy of his original self. The perfect man in the areas of ideas, the soul, the soul has three faculties. First, reason, intellectual and will. Second, passion, drives and emotion. Third, appetite, sensual part. Hume on the self. According to Hume, careful analysis on the on the notion of self, self or mind supposed to be an unchanging non-material substance within everyone attests that people have no knowledge of such a thing.